What's good fam? It's your boy Gels and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about how to do reverse reverb in Pro Tools, man. Hey, let's go! Like I said, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to do reverse reverb in Pro Tools, man. It's not hard to do, but it'll take your mixes to the next level. Y'all know me, I'm not gonna do a lot of talking. Let's get to work, let's dive into Pro Tools, let's go. All right, guys, this is a song by artist Art23. I did mix this original song, but this is just a two track beat and a lead vocal. Just about to show you guys how to do Reverse reverb and Pro Tools. Let's just play a little snippet. I can't wait, it's go time. My flow is like a gold mine. All right, we're basically going to do the reverse reverb on this first little part here. So what we're going to do is go in and create a new track. We're going to... We'll take this first little section here. So we're going to hit control C, hit the little button under the P, it'll scroll you down, then hit control V, it'll paste it. I can't That's where it is right there. I can't wait, it's go time. So what we're going to do, you want to copy, make sure you have a little bit after the file and then a little tail in front. So what we're going to do is go up to audio suite. We'll just use a stock D verb. I'm gonna use a plate. Gain at zero. Decay at seven. And that should pretty much be all we need. So we're gonna hit reverse. All right, let's get this out the way. Let's hear how it sounds just like that. I can't wait, it's go time. My flow is like that's actually almost perfect. Let's turn that up just a tad. I can't wait, it's go. We're gonna back it up just a little bit. I can't, I can't wait, it's go time. My flow is like a gold mine. I be in it. Alright, I think we might have it. Let's fade this out just a tad. Turn it down just a little bit. I can't wait, it's go time. My flow is like a gold mine. All right, that sounds pretty good to me. So let's hear it without the reverse reverb. I can't wait, it's go time. My flow is like a. All right, let's hear it with the reverse reverb. I can't wait, it's go time. My flow is like. Just gives the listener something else to listen to, so you're not kind of. It's not a bland mix, man. Again, this is how you do the reverse reverb in Pro Tools. It's not a lot to it. It's very, very simple. You saw we did that in a couple seconds, man. Let's listen one more time. I can't wait, it's go time. And like I said, you can dial this in the taste. Uh, you could turn it up more. You can make the tail longer. You could do whatever you want to do. So let's hear it without it one more time. I can't wait, it's go time. Let's hear it with it. I can't wait, it's go time. All right, if you have another way to re where you do the reverse reverb, man, be sure to share it with me. Let's go. Hey, y'all thought I was lying, right? I told you it's not hard to do reverse reverb in Pro Tools, man. But that simple move will take your mixes to the next level and give your listener, give your artist some extra dynamics to listen to, man. It'll kind of trick their ears a little bit, man. So look, if you have any questions or you have any comments or you have any mix techniques, leave them in the comments below. If you need to reach out to me, all my information is in the description below. Be sure to check out my website, mixedbygels.com, man. Hey, that's mixedbygels.com, baby. Hey, it's your boy Gels. I'm gone.